Good morning, pretty. I am so excited. It is the last Monday of January. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm, I was trying to calculate. I was like, wait now, is this the last one? It's the last one. So if you're ready for some pretty good coffee and the word, then grab your coffee, get your Bibles, and let's go. Okay, so I am so, so, so excited as I have been saying every video because I am absolutely excited. Pretty Good Coffee is one of my favorite things to do to start my week. Um, I started with you and more importantly, I started with the Lord. I started within um, his word and being able to do that and being held accountable to it with you has been such a blessing to me from last year to this year. It has been bomb. So again let's go ahead and talk about our coffee sponsor our coffee sponsor as you all know if you've been keeping up with pretty good coffee is maple street biscuit um company and i have absolutely enjoyed their blends these have been amazing they are so full of body great flavors and they really um help jump start my day i love coffee and to find quality coffee in my city that I can go get ground right there at the restaurant um, is incredible. So if you are looking for a good coffee alternative to your norm, my encouragement is to go to Maple Street Biscuit Company um, here in Gainesville or they actually have other locations as well. So feel free to look it up online. You can also order the coffee offline and then they can ship it to you. And you can get whole bean or ground. And today I am doing the light amber blend. This was the first one that I tried and I have loved it so far as a cold brew. So um, I did another one. And so if you're wanting to know how I make my cold brew, go back and watch the first video um, for this month and I will be walking you through that process. But again, I'm using the light amber. This is a light roast, medium body, and it has notes of nut and chocolate. So definitely try this one out. It's really, really good. And my cold brew is, you can see the milk. So I have almond milk, um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and Chobani creamer, the sweet cream flavor, um, and then some ice. It's really simple, but it is super delicious. I do not have the syrup in it today. Um, I wanted to try it without the syrup just to see how it would taste. So I'm going to stir it up a little bit. And let's see. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's so good, so good. So again, thank you to our sponsors, Maple Street Biscuit Company, um, for our coffee. Now, are we ready for the word? Okay, perfect, okay. So, we're going to do Colossians 3, verses 1 and 2. Colossians 3, verses 1 and 2, and I'm gonna do the King James Version. If ye then be risen with Christ, Seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on earth. Again, this is Colossians 3, verses 1 and 2, and I'm reading from the King James Version. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on earth. And I thought this was a great scripture to start our last week of the month on, especially when we're usually, I'm not going to say that you are, but usually we're up against those New Year's resolutions, right? So we've had 30 days to kind of put into action those things that we said we're going to come into 2022 strong with. We're going to change our habits. We're going to do things different. We're going to make this type of money in our first month. We're going to make these types of moves and all these other things, blah, 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 blah. A lot of times our resolutions have nothing to do with our actual faith goals and you know that we've talked about faith goals before our faith goals are things and areas where we're leveling up in Christ where we're leveling up our faith where we are expanding our imagination for what God can do through us and for us and how he directs our purpose it also causes us to see him as the head and not just you know a candy machine right he is literally the head of our life and so everything that we do is attached to him and it is following in his lead that's our faith goals and usually our resolutions don't match up 
usually they do not match up because spiritually um we don't necessarily put it on our resolutions right and so i thought it was important that as we're ending this month that we talk about where our affections where our sights actually need to be set it's not necessarily on the weight loss although being healthy is important because we have to take care of our temple it's not really on leveling up our bank account although financial stewardship is important because it helps you to give in excess to his people and we're not really talking about our jobs and getting that promotion although it is important to be seen as a leader because we exemplify Christ in that way. What I'm talking about is setting our affection on things above where Christ is. Instead of looking down and in the weeds or right here what's directly in front of us, we have to have long-term view and upward mobility, right? And we do that by focusing on Christ and what Christ is calling us to do and where Christ is calling us from. And we have to do that intentionally. So it requires us to be in the word. It requires us to pray. It requires us to cut off and shut out all of the noise. It requires us to fast. I see y'all doing the Daniels fast kudos to you. And it requires us to really quiet down our own emotions and our own intellect about what is possible and tap into what is possible through him because he is the God of possibility. The word says, set your affection on things above, not on things on earth. These things that we're worried about and we're trying to achieve here within our new year's resolutions, sometimes they have nothing to do with what God has told you to be working on. And I want you to be careful. I want you to be careful. Some of them are. So again, you have to assess your own list, but some of them are not. And so if you know that a lot of this is just my own fleshly desires and wants and why need it be slim and trim, you know, uh, did God call you that? Or did he call you to eating better so that your temple is healthy? Or did he call you to working out so that you have greater stamina to produce and disciple his people? Did he say that you need to have this extra second or third job to make your bank account fat? Or did he say that you need to work hard so that you can give to others because they are also in need? Again, adjusting your resolutions to mirror your faith goals. It's important that you set your affections on things above. Don't get so tied down to what's down here because this stuff is fleeting. It won't last. Only what you do for Christ is going to last. That's going to be your legacy. It's going to be your legacy and what you are disciplining yourself for right now in the beginning of 2022 is really going to determine your trajectory for the rest of the year. And so, yeah, you've been doing stuff this entire month and maybe it hasn't been what God has called you to. Maybe it has been more focused on your personal wants and desires. That's cool. We have time to pivot. So pivot with me, okay? We are going to make 2022 special because we're going to be intentional about it. And we're going to be intentional about putting our eyes and our affections where they need to be. Not on ourselves, not on our bank accounts, not on our people, but on Christ. Because everything will fall under that umbrella. If you do what he's calling you to do, if you focus on him and his provision and his directives, everything else will come underneath that umbrella. Everything else will come underneath that umbrella. So again, if ye be, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. If you say that you're his, if you say that you're going to follow him, if you say that he's the head of your life, if you say that you are his child, if you say those things, then begin to act like it. Begin to act like it. You started off the year, cool. Now let's make the year. Let's make the year. Let's be intentional about that. Okay, that's all I got. I have enjoyed my time with you. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed Pretty Good Coffee. Um, it has been so special to me to spend this time with you every week, to share the coffee with you spiritually and physically. <laughs> And I hope that you've enjoyed it. And if you have, make sure that you like and see you subscribe here on YouTube or on Instagram because we want to continue to grow the community. Do the things that the YouTubers and Instagrammers tell you to do. And I always forget to tell you, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share it with your girls. I want you guys to join me every Monday at 1030. It's been amazing and it's only going to get better. I'd love for you to comment um, what you think about Pretty Good Coffee, how you feel about the guests, 
and what we're covering. And if you have some scriptures that you'd love for me to chat with you about, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to check them out and then we'll, um, we'll add them to the pretty good coffee lineup. Yep, we can do that. So that's all I have for this week. Make sure that you hold on to Colossians 3 verses 1 through 2 and you make it a great week pretty. Bye.